I wrote a Christmas rap when I was like 16 years old. I still remember it. This is how it goes. Scott dropped me a beat. <laughs> I said, yo, 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 forget the ho, 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 because I bring Jolly everywhere that I go, go, go. I bring Jolly to the East Holla. I bring Jolly to the West Holla. I keep on doing my tie bow to get rid of this jello. So keep on supplying those cookies and milk. And for you, I want my cotton. I will wear some. Thicka, thicka, thicka. Ho. This is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go This is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go we last left you guys in the city of York with our dear friends Wes and Naomi. How exciting! After there, we all headed to a coastal town called Cleethorpes to get some of the best fish and chips and meet up with our other good friends Ryan and Beck and their boy Reuben. What's up guys? We are here in Cleethorpes at Papa's Fish and Chips every time we've been, or every time I've been with Scott to England. We've always driven up to the north coast of Cleethorpes and come here for the best gluten-free fish and chips of my life. And we just met up with our friends Beck and Ryan and Reuben and so having a good time. Yeah, so we've uh, we've ate at this fish shop before, but we've never actually come inside and it's like the fanciest fish and so chip fancy. place We got ever. Christmas crackers. We got Christmas crackers, <laughs> we got fancy newspapers, menus, and it's just... And there's chandeliers it's just and there's a nice massive place. tree. So, if you're ever in Cleethorpes, check out this Papa. place. Oh, and the three course dinner for like, what was it? 9.99. 10 pounds. Bargain. I found three left. Ooh, that's so yeah. fun. Guys, meet our friends Beck and Ryan. Hi. Oh, oh hey. there we go. Got some lights in there. <laughs> so, it actually, turns out that this Papa's fish shop is actually the largest fish shop in, in the, the world. world. Scott, I cannot. Apparently. I can't. Apparently. <laughs> Hold on. I can... All right, so we're here with Mum and Dad, and what are we doing today, guys? We're going to the Panto. We're going to the Panto. And be... Oh, no, you're not. Yeah. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, that's a thing. <laughs> That's a panto thing. I'm still learning. I've never been to a panto. And we're about to have family Christmas. Since we're flying out Christmas Eve, we are having all the family around today and we're celebrating a little bit early so we get two Christmases. We spent the whole morning and afternoon with family for our Christmas celebrations. We opened presents, or prezzies, as Scott's mom likes to call them, and it was just a magical morning. Getting to be with our nieces and nephews, Scott's sister and her brother-in-law, really just a whole family, and see the excitement on everyone's faces was the best. The rest of the afternoon was pretty chill. The guys played with the drone, boys and their toys. And then we all had a glorious Christmas dinner together. Seriously, if you haven't tried my father-in-law's cooking, then you're missing out. We have just arrived to the Civic Theater in downtown Rotherham, and we're gonna go see my first ever pantomime, and I am ecstatic. <laughs> oh no, we're not. Oh yes, we are. <laughs> I'm learning. So a pantomime is kind of like a uh, Christmas tradition. Uh, it kind of takes a fairy tale and then just adds a comical spin <laughs> to it and it's just a lot of audience interaction um, it's just kind of really silly uh, but it's uh, it's a age-old tradition and so uh, we're gonna check it out and it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be amazing yeah. <laughs> I believe we should sing a song to keep the ghosties and ghoulies away
So we're at the Pento with mom and dad. Can you see them? <laughs> Having the best time. It's been hilarious. So interactive. And during intermission, everyone goes and gets ice cream. So what's your first reaction to a Pento? What's your first thoughts? First thoughts are it's amazing. It's so funny and ridiculous. And I love, like, they do all these song parodies. And I've never been at a show this interactive, honestly. So it's like hilarious all the responses and interactions and you can tell some of the actors are like ad-libbing oh and the king hugo from the sleeping we're at a sleeping beauty pantomime king hugo is um from x factor andy abraham from x factor so that's pretty cool and my favorite part so far has been there was a really funny balloon bit that they did <laughs> <laughs> and also when the evil person comes on everyone goes boo I love that Oh no, it was. Oh <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> we had the best time. It was so good. So, so good. One smart fella, he felt smart. <laughs> Two smart fellas, they felt smart. Three, Three smart, smart fellas, fellas, they all felt smart. smart together. They all felt Okay, so we are now heading to the airport. We're about to uh, go to London. Uh, we're staying there for the night and then we fly out tomorrow. And so here we are saying bye to my house. <laughs> okay, so we just arrived at our hotel here in London. So we just checked in and now we're gonna head to the city. Waiting for snow. Each day I feel better And my hope begins to grow We're in London, baby! Uh, so we just caught, uh, we're staying at a hotel right next to the Heathrow Airport and so literally we caught a, a free bus uh, to the subway station and then we just catch a subway straight down to Covent Gardens. And Which so that's is where we're magical. at right now. And it's all decorated for Christmas, we're only here for a few hours, uh, but we're going to make the most of it. There's a feeling I remember From the time when I was young On the last day so So one thing that's amazing about Covent Garden is you have like, it's kind of like market type area like of all store. sorts of different things. And then you have really nice restaurants and really low-key restaurants, a little bit of everything, right? Yeah, so Covent Gardens isn't a garden. Don't get confused. <laughs> yeah. There are beautiful things here, though. <laughs> Scott and I love Christmas time, and it feels especially magical, I feel like, in big cities. In a lot of ways, London reminds us of New York City at Christmas time, which for those of you that don't know, is extra special to us because that's where Scott proposed to me. After a day of a citywide scavenger hunt, starting off with Buddy the Elf's world's best cup of coffee stop, he got down on one knee in front of the Rockefeller Christmas tree and gave me one of the best Christmas presents ever. So when we saw this tree in Covent Gardens, we couldn't help but reminisce of our New York City proposal. Did you even go to Covent Garden if you didn't see a man on a unicycle with bowling pins in his hands?
Okay, so we're here at uh, Trafalgar Square, and we've just been basically walking around all day, just going to uh, different places to see. Uh, there's like so much set up for Christmas here, uh, so many different Christmas markets uh, that we just stumbled upon some. And this one is at Trafalgar Square, and so we got the big uh, Christmas tree here behind us. And uh, yeah, it's just we just love London because it's like just like any city. There's so much just to walk around and see and do without actually having to pay to do anything. And so, so true. Yeah, just been here a couple hours. Um, it's been awesome. So true. And there was just a beautiful chorus of people singing here in the square. So we're gonna try to go film them singing these beautiful Christmas carols and take you guys with. So after a busy day of walking around London, we headed back to our hotel for the night. So the next morning was Christmas Eve and we headed to the airport and said the difficult goodbyes to Scott's mom and dad, or the see you soon as we like to think of them. Then we got ready to fly back to the States just in time for Christmas Day. So I got stopped at airport security because apparently on my person I had a battery Turns out it was just my sweater. Santa Claus is coming to town. To town, I can't talk. Ready? You better not cry. You better not cry. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. This looks like a really good shot. On our way back to Raleigh, North Carolina, tell them about our wonderful main cabin extra seat. Oh, so we didn't get sat next to each other, but so we went to one of the guys and he made it happen. He made it happen. Uh, so, we... so now we got these two little seats next to each other, and we got all this like. Look at this. So we hope you enjoyed coming along with us on our trip to jolly old England and getting to see Scott's hometown and meet some of our friends and family over there. We absolutely love getting the opportunity to travel, and we look forward to taking you guys to lots of more places with us. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and join us next week as we return home to continue converting Honey, our school bus, into our future tiny home. Be back next week. What are we about to do? Just gonna pick up the pups. I see them. Oh, I can't wait to see the doggies. Oh. Hi, Tank. Hi, Oh, Hi. you're good, Oh, oh buddy. Oh, buddy. buddy. How you doing? Oh, hi, Curly, Curly. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy.